Hey guys, it's Attorney Jeff Goldtrap here in Nashville. Hope you are having a great day. The topic for today is excessive calling. What is excessive calling? In today's topic of excessive calling, the idea is calling your lawyer. Okay, should you call your lawyer? Yes, if you have a question, call your lawyer. Now, every law office that I've ever dealt with has got some sort of system, whether they've ever described it that, uh, that way or not, there's some sort of system for communicating with your lawyer. It could be phone, it could be email, it could be text, etc. There's some sort of way. Let's presume that, that the basis or the communication is telephone. So you call your lawyer. Let's pretend that you have a question about is a, is a motion filed, for example. So ring, ring, attorney Jim, uh, is the motion filed? Give me a call back. Thanks. This is client. Okay. There's, this is my thought for the day. A call like that is perfectly appropriate. A call like that eight times in, in one hour is excessive. A call like that asking the question uh, is a motion filed, for example, and that call is made to the lawyer's office at 10 o'clock at night or at 3 in the morning, four or five times at 3 in the morning or eight o'clock at night, is excessive. And after a while, that kind of person, that kind of client might be getting ignored just because of the excessive calling. Okay, there is nothing wrong with calling your lawyer. I want you to communicate with your lawyer and our ethical duties require communicating with our clients. Perfectly okay. But avoid excessive calling or excessive communicating in this case. Hey, I'm Jeff Goldtrap. If you have a great lawyer, communicate with that lawyer. If you need, uh, if you feel like your lawyer isn't communicating, then maybe you need to shop around and get another lawyer. Uh, this is Attorney Jeff Goldtrap. I hope I've helped you make it a great day.